Uh, Ken, it's great to see you. Nice today. to see you, Jim. And you know, without sounding like I'm gushing too much, because oh, gush. I'll, I'll gush, but <laughs> if you don't have a nomination and win it all this time, my guess is wrong, and I'm usually right. <laughs> well, uh, who, who knows, Jim? We, we're just, at but, this point, we're so relieved to have made the movie. Oh, it's wonderful. Just Thank a you wonderful very much. Film. Thank yeah. you. When I interviewed Mel Gibson for Hamlet, he said, I asked him if he was intimidated. And he said, a little bit, that until he got used to Shakespeare and Shakespeare got used to him. But with you, Kenneth, I felt it's this role, this play is second nature to you. It's been something that when I first saw at 16 has, has definitely had a huge impact. I saw Derek Jacobi, who's our Claudius, play it then. I was struck by the life force that's in the play. You feel as though you're connecting with an extraordinary energy. You feel thrilled. I was uh, uh, vibrating with excitement afterwards. And, uh, and over the years, you know, once begun the kind of task of trying to break down what in theory seems a very complicated piece, but yet at heart there's something so profound and simple about human beings, about families, about what it's like to lose your dad, yeah. about all these moments that are recognizable in everybody's existence and trying to find a way to lay that out that does both things. It says, here's a great entertainment. We've got murder, we've got incest, we've got ghosts, we've got revenge, we've got madness, but we've also got this incredible insight into what it's like to deal with all these problems we all have to deal with. And it's funny, and in this version, big and small and everything. Mm -hmm. It never ceases to amaze me that you look at this play, that so many of the lines are eternal. Mm. Oh, this place is so full of quotes. I remember a silly example of it. When I was eight, I had boils on my knee. My mother used to squeeze them with hot and cold poultices. It was agony. And she used to say to me, I have to be cruel to be kind. Yes. And about 15 years later, I discovered that line was in Hamlet. And I said, you realize you were qu quoting Hamlet when you were squeezing the boils on my knees? That's the reason I've got this obsession. <laughs> she didn't know where it had come it just, from. <laughs> just one after the other. Whenever yeah, I do that yeah. scene in the film, actually, I can never forget my mother squeezing <laughs> the boils on my knees. Suddenly this image it shoots across yeah. my mind. Or my grandmother saying, never a lender or be or a borrower. Yeah, it's, a, it's just, so full of quotes. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. There's a great deal of comment amongst my colleagues about the length. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel fortunate when I studied Shakespeare in Chicago, mm -hmm. university level, that the old Vic at the time I was taking the course mm -hmm. was in residence there. So we were able to go backstage and, and talk and meet the actors. Mm -hmm. And learned, I learned that when you saw, when Shakespeare did his plays, they sometimes took all day. Sure, yeah, yeah. Am I correct about that? Absolutely, yeah. And we have an intermission here to deal with the bladder issue, which Shakespeare, yeah. I'm sure, addressed uh, uh, quite yes, carefully. And yes, also the franchising yeah. thing. He was interested in making a few bob on the popcorn. <laughs> uh, he was very alive to all of that. Uh, we think the film is the right length. We feel mm. it's no longer or shorter than it should be. I've seen many two-hour films that feel like they take all day anyway. And uh, we reckon in this longer version that it's easier to watch, it's easier to follow, and that within the film you get a chance to kind of check in, check out, all the yeah. time the poetry is working on you, so it doesn't matter if you miss a line or two. I miss a line or two, but what I don't miss is this incredible under-the-skin thing that is working. This play gets into your yes, system. Yes, it does. It just gets into and your I've system. And I've been to many hour-and-a-half movies that seemed much longer. Yeah. <laughs> People so far have been up for the mm. event of it. What I've been to see it recently, the mood in the room is of an event, something unique, something people feel they ain't going to do again in their lives necessarily in the same way. And after all, we're attempting to entertain them. We're giving yeah. them four hours of entertainment. Yeah. It's a double feature, isn't it? And it's only, you know, one of the greatest works of art ever mm. produced by a man, this writing. So I think, you know, when you think of four hours, that's a nice way to spend four hours. Charlton Heston said he's proud of his colleagues from America. Oh, well, he's so he should be. I mean, he is excellent. They all are. I'm proud of them. Billy Crystal is a I grave think, digger. Yeah, he's marvelous. They're real and they're funny and they're bright. They've done all the work. And why shouldn't they? But this is no, absolutely no surprise to me. This is why they're cast. They're marvelous actors. Mm -hmm. Some kind of English background does not necessarily fit you for doing Shakespeare well. What does fit you is, is, is an emotional truth which these people have and a kind of uh, bravery in their acting yeah, that means that yeah. they haven't been intimidated by this thing that mm -hmm. somehow Americans aren't you know, capable of doing it. Nonsense, Nonsense is what I say. Yeah. And lastly, Kenneth, I, for those who may think, well, Hamlet again, it's so dark and Middle Ages, and mm. you move it to the 19th century. 
This is bright and sexy yeah. and opulent. It's about glamorous people that you want to be interested in, that you want to be involved with, that, and they are full of intrigue, family mm. intrigues. Uh, if you've ever been in a love affair that goes wrong, you'll see something here. If you've ever lost a parent, um, you'll see something it's here. If you've ever had a problem with your mother, it's here. If you like fights, there's a great fight at the end. It's full of, you know, he, boy, he knew how to tell a story, and I promise that oh, there's uh, yeah. something for everyone is the genius of And 70, mil 70 millimeter mm. can Kenneth Branagh, great cast, one of the greatest stories ever written. Don't put it top of your list, Hamlet. Thanks a lot, Jim. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it.